cool thing about oceanography is how everything is connected. It's the connection between the chemical oceanography, the nutrients, and the biology that leads to production and fisheries and, and all of that stuff. I spent a lot of time looking at chemical oceanography, physical oceanography, the, just the basic physical environment. We have a 40-year uh, record of just temperature in the region, and we have a pretty clear pattern of warming. We've uh, been in the influence of the, the blob, which is a warm water anomaly that started out in the Gulf of Alaska, but is now spread all over the coast. So what, what we got was what meteorologists call the ridiculously resilient ridge which meant high pressure, so it was like this for weeks and weeks. So instead of those giant North Pacific storms that we get that normally mix everything up, we had calm, sunny weather. So a lot of the heat that normally mixed out of the ocean stayed in the ocean, and that led to what we call the, the blob anomaly. And so that impacts how quickly salmon can grow. Uh, Cold-blooded things in general, uh, when they grow in warmer conditions, they grow to a smaller size than when things are cold and fishermen have noticed the last few years that fish have been coming back smaller and people are thinking about that quite a bit right now uh, with the state of some of our fisheries. Uh, this was our worst year in 40 years and they're talking about declaring a uh, fisheries disaster to get some, some help for people. And, and really we probably could have seen it coming. I am hopeful that the more we learn about this place, the better we'll get at managing it.